Hey guys, welcome back to my Secret Room series. Now we're doing Rotation 3, Secret Room 9. And the good news is, according to the list, Seer, Seer's on the list. So we can totally use her. Um, and we can use Lydia. And they're, they're actually already speed-tuned for uh, most of my other areas uh, to work. And... I have a team that actually works with her too, so they're totally who I want. Let's bring Bellower. He's in a stun set, so he'll work well as crowd control for when we don't quite have the cooldowns that we want. It would be nice to have some kind of uh, nuker as well, but I think really Seer is it. So who else do we want for support? We could always just bring, um, we could bring a cleanser. Yeah, Mithrala does a lot, come to think of it. Let's bring Mithrala. Maybe we even want her in the lead, because she does do that accuracy. So do we want the speed or the accuracy? Let's take the speed. Why not? Now, to make sure everything lines up correctly, maybe I want to take... It off auto. Take it off auto just so I make sure everything goes in my order. So we have the debuffs sent and Seer just destroys them. Wow. I wonder if the two could do it by themselves. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to risk it just in case. Let's try to block Siffy from doing anything. So she'll be locked out. Uh I'll just Come to think of it, I really want to make sure we take down the Siffy first. We can use Mithrala's Hex to try to crowd control. Let's do a uh, decrease attack, in case that matters. And here we go. We can use Bellower. We can maybe... Maybe we'll go for the decrease speed and see if we get any stuns. And look, we got a stun from that stun set. Awesome. So, we definitely want to stop her from stealing our buffs and placing decreased attack and decreased defense. So if we can stop Madame Ceree from doing that, that's what we want to do. But I guess we'll see. Well, she got her turn. But this is, this is why it can pay to have a cleanser. We've also got some buffs we can place now. Also get the debuffs out. And maybe I'll just use the A1. I'm reminding myself. Oh, it's it's got block active skills. So that's handy. If you have Bellower, strongly recommend for this room if you're having any trouble. It basically makes sure you do not. So let's get this cleanse off. And Maybe I'll try to lock out. I'll try to lock out him. Just in case anybody happens to survive the next the next nuke. Um and we'll do the lock active skills if possible. And here we go. Nuke. And look at that. We'll just A1 cycle. So we can get as many cooldowns restored as possible. But I think this is going to be a much more painless one. So let's see. We got Warlord. He can shut down our stuff. We definitely don't want that happening. So we want to shut him down first if possible. Arbiter's the only reviver, so let's target her. And let's do a decrease attack. Maybe the decreased speed is what we want. Or maybe we just want the chance of block active skills. I think that's probably the best. Good. So we've locked out Warlord. Let's try to walk, lock out Arbiter as well. Things are looking up. Things are looking very good. I'll just hit Arbiter again. And... Slam! And that's it. So that was a very fast team. Um, obviously... If you don't have Seer, 
This would take a lot longer. The chief advice is up top in the notes. Uh, you go for stun sets with the fearsome presence mastery. That is often your best bet if you have nothing better. That's all I've got for you for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you on the next one.